Hello again, everybody. This is John with BestPriceNutrition.com. Today I'm here to talk to you about pre-workout nutrition. It's something that comes up a lot in terms of questions. And I wanted to address it. And first of all, I'll say that the long-winded answer is it depends, as usual with these things. Um, context is always necessary um, to determine what one should or should not be eating before you train. Things to consider are goals. Um, you know, if performance is number one for you, then you know it's going to make sense for you to have an ample amount of nutrients before you train. If burning fat or getting lean, what have you, is is uh, a goal that's ahead of that for you, and you're doing say intermittent fasting and you're training in a fasted state, obviously that's going to change things a little bit too. You know, a lot of people for that in that case, for instance, they use BCAAs. Keep in mind, BCAAs also provide calories. I personally prefer just to tell people, hey, use a little bit of whey protein instead. At least you're getting all 20 amino acids. Yes, it's calories, so you're technically not fasted, but the same is true of BCAAs, and at least it's not limiting. You know, you're, you're getting all of the amino acids, um, plus other benefits of way beyond that. Um, if you're some endurance athlete and, you know, you're trained to run a marathon or you're going to work out for a couple hours or more, obviously you're going to benefit, we know from research, by having you know, ample nutrients, you know, a fair amount of carbohydrates before you train. When I say before, you know, at least a couple hours before. Um, for instance, if you're running a marathon, it probably starts the night before where you're loading up on glycogen and things like that. So that population is going to have a whole separate set of rules than, say, somebody who's just going to the gym to work out for an hour. You can go work out for an hour and probably train just fine fasted. Now, that varies from person to person. Some people just don't do well when they train fasted. They need something. So for those people, I would say, well, it's always good, you know, if you have a nice meal three or four hours you know, before, that's, that should more than suffice. Um, if you still feel like you need something closer to training, um, I don't think it's the best idea to eat a large meal, say an hour or less before training, um, because it's going to sit in your stomach, it might fake, make you, you know, slow you down um, and not feel good. Again, that's going to vary from person to person. You know, usually fat is going to kind of slow down gastric emptying, so it's not something that, that somebody's going to respond well to. You know, for me personally, I try and eat a few hours before, and then I'll have a, um, maybe a little bit of whey protein or something like that. Uh, before I train, if I feel like I need something to perform better, um, th that's something that I will do. Again, that's going to vary a little bit from uh, person to person. Now, if you're somebody who, say, trains in the morning and you don't have that option to eat, you know, right before, or, you know, or a few hours before, obviously, well, then, again, you're probably somebody who might benefit from, say, you know, a little bit of whey, maybe like half a banana if you feel like you need the carbs. Now, when I say all these things with calories, count them and what your caloric goals are. You know, you set your, your carbohydrates, your protein, your fat goals for whatever. Well, that's the most important thing, is how does that meal fit within that context? Um, if it fits fine within the context of what you need for that day based on your goals and it helps you train better, then eat it then. And it also has an inverse relationship with what you eat after you train. You know, if you take in a bunch of calories before you train, go train for an hour, well, you really don't need as much after you train, whenever that meal may take place. Um, if you don't, well, then obviously you're going to take in more of those calories to fill out your, your quota or your goals, if you will, for that day. Um, so those are things to consider. So the type of training, duration, intensity, performance. So again, there, as we come back to that, what I said in the beginning is that it depends. Um, you know, other things to consider are if you use stimulants or beta alanine or things like that, that's fine. You know, most of those are going to have little to no calories, assuming you're taking on some powder, um, some powder form. Uh, I think I covered everything here. I'm trying to make sure I didn't run through any questions here. Yeah, like I said, the biggest thing is, as a rule of thumb, I would say, no matter what type of training you're doing, is don't have just a really large meal, you know, an hour or less before you train. Some would say all the way up to two hours because it, it might weigh you down and it might slow you down. Some people, for some reason, can do that and perform fine. You know, for me, I, I like something a little bit lighter. Um, so, like I said, examples would be like banana and some protein powder. I prefer whey around my workouts. It's my own personal preference. Um, that doesn't mean you can't use casein, egg, or some other source of protein. That's fine. Or, you know, some other whole food meal. But I would say those larger meals, keep those a little bit further out, uh, two hours or more. I hope I addressed all your questions on that. Um, again, the take home here is it's more about how much you're eating within the context of your goals as opposed to when and also consider performance. But please feel free to post those questions. We're happy to answer them. Also check us out at facebook.com slash bestpricenutrition. Thank you for watching.